Welcome back ladies and gents. Now hopefully by the time you come to this video you will have created a logo and you've finished at least the first draft of your user interface. If not, please check out the videos previous uh, to this one. Um, and what we're going to do now is basically uh, discuss what we're going to use or how we're going to use uh, that user interface. So you will have had something like this. Now I've not actually finished this because uh, I didn't want to bore uh, you making an entire video doing every single page. Uh, as long as you understand how to do it, it should be fine. So you should have something like this that looks nice and interesting. It's got some images in there. There's a breakdown. There's a section. Hyperlink is or all hyperlinks are connected to each section. So it's a pretty nice looking user interface. Now what you're going to do is basically if you read the instructions, it's pretty clear, you're going to have to screenshot every slide, each slide, into this area here underneath section one. And after each one you need to answer these questions. So it's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to say it, you know, go for it once just in case it doesn't make any sense. So first one, you need to mention how it will be used. Uh, so that there is just really a, maybe a, just a, a little paragraph at the beginning because they're all the same. You're going to say either it's on a, it's going to be used on a laptop, on a touchscreen tablet, on a phone, whichever one it is, you should be able to use your common sense to decide. And it's pretty clear in this example anyway that it's going to be on a touchscreen tablet. tablet. Um, why? Well, you need to explain. It's going to be because this user interface is, is being designed for a medical practice to be used by patients who walk in and walk out from a, you know, GP surgery, which means it will be found in a reception area of the surgery. It's where the, the, the patients are waiting to be seen uh, by the doctors. So you explain it, you justify it. Then you need to start explaining all the features included in that page, on that page, sorry. How is the user going to input data? They're going to use a finger to click this, this, but this button will take them here, that button will take them there. The interface, how it responds, is it going to just take them somewhere or is it going to show them something? Uh, is it going to ask them to uh, enter something? Talk about how easy it is to use by normal people. When I say normal, I mean people who don't have any user needs, uh, any kind of accessibility needs. And how, is, how will it be received by people who may have visual needs, uh, who may have motor needs, who may have hearing needs? How how have you made it, designed it to make it easy for those individuals? And how the user user will navigate around the interface. So if you see here, my first screenshot will be this. And, and I'm just going to say this is the welcome page. The reason why we have this is one, it tells the user where they are. It's got the logo of the actual branch itself. It's got a, a button nice and simple in the middle, near the bottom, easy for people to reach. And the button's nice and large. It's bright. It sticks out. And you can clearly see where it takes them. It says in bright, white, contrasting a font. Um, contrasting meaning it sticks out from the back background um, main menu so they know when they click it with the finger that this this button will take them to the main menu there's also a little notice at the bottom that says please ask for assistance if you require help simple that will be designed that's there for people to know that there's always going to be someone to hand if they need it so that's that, that's it that what I've just said is a little paragraph to go underneath this slide now when you go to this slide you talk about what this slide does you're gonna say this bus will take them here that button will take them here why is that title there why one it tells them where the you know what the page is about uh, why is it over there why is it at the top why is it not at the bottom or on the left hand side or on the right hand side explain why is that image there to break it up a little bit to make it look more interesting to make it easier to make them feel more welcomed why is the logo there again to remind them where they are why is so you, every single item you need to identify and explain why and how it helps who does it help so inevitably some of these slides or some of these pages will have more uh, for you to identify and explain than others. This is probably the least because there's not much there, but there's still always something to talk about. So every single slide must be screenshotted or print screened and then pasted with these in mind and explained after each one. As I said, this one here may be, you know, you may be able to do that as a paragraph at the beginning. I hope that makes sense. Um, you will not get the marks if you don't have it in here as a screenshot for every single slide explaining how uh, you've identified and appro approached all these points here.